Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kathy Larson, co-owner of uh, Departures Travel in Sydney, along with uh, Kathy Scott, um, my partner in crime there. And she also owns the Departures Travel in Oak Bay. And we're excited this week to have with us Dave Emery, who represents uh, Elsid Resorts here in Canada. And we thought it was the perfect time. You know, people are really wanting to go somewhere warm and sunny. So Dave is here to, to walk us through all of the resorts that they, that they have and their very strict uh, safety protocols. It just, it, Kathy and I talked about it and, and it really kind of frightens us when we, when we see people really wanting to go traveling and, and going against the, the travel orders and going down but you really need to have the, the proper education on what resorts you're going to and the safety protocols that they have there. So um, Dave is here to tell us all about uh, that and all of the fun things that they have for us to see and do there. Dave? Thanks so much, Kathy. I appreciate that. Yeah, so El Cid is a family-owned hotel chain with properties in uh, three different destinations in Mexico. I've wor worked with them for 11 years now, and they're a great family-owned company to work with. They've got four properties in Mazatlan. They've got two family-friendly five-star properties in the Riviera Maya. And then a small boutique property, great for scuba divers, and I know you guys have some scuba diver clients, in Cozumel. But right to begin with, since Kathy mentioned about El Cid's protocol, they closed down, of course, like everybody else, right when the uh, pandemic started spreading. Um, but they opened up July 1st. So as of the beginning of this week, they have been open now for five months under very strict protocol, keeping both staff and guests safe. So a um, couple of the things to note on that, just so that guests know what to uh, expect if they decide to go down there and deal with all of the, um, oops, let me go back a little bit here. Now, of course, I zoomed over that too quickly here. So when the staff show up every day, and this started July 1st when, they, when the resorts all opened up, all of the staff have their temperatures take it, taken every day. They all wear masks. They all do wear face shields also. In addition to that, they also do carry around sanitizer and double check the sanitizers, hand sanitizers all over the property. For years, El Cid has won awards for their uh, cleanliness and for their food quality and safety. And this just sort of goes in there with it, knowing that they're um, doing all of the right things, all of the World Health Organization recommendations, so that first of all, that their staff can go home and know that they're safe to be around their families. And so far, having been open for five months, that has been the case. The other half of it is the guests. And I was on a conference call the other day asking our staff, uh, my colleagues down there, you know, are the guests being very good about following their recommendations of wearing masks when inside, checking in when they arrive at the property, maybe when they're waiting for a table at a socially distanced restaurant, you know, that, that when they need to wear the mask. And as I said, absolutely, the guests have been very good about following all of those procedures, and they would need to be. Security would be uh, all over them if they weren't respectful and and respecting all of the staff and um, other guests safety. So all of the procedures are being followed just to help keep the uh, resorts open until vaccines are available for all of us and we can all freely travel. So I'm gonna give a quick overview of, I'm gonna start off in, in Mazatlan with the four properties there, then I'll move to the Riviera Maya and then I'll, I'll sort of close with the, the little boutique property in Cozumel. We've got the four properties in Mazatlan. This is the only one, the Granada, that isn't on the beach, but guests here actually have full access to the Castilla Beach right across the street. This tends to be our lead-in property. So obviously a good budget for you guys. Um, it also tends to be good for people that wanting the extended stays um, because a lot of the rooms at this property have kitchenettes there. And unlike most all-inclusive resorts in Mazatlan, we do offer the European plan, which is no meals, 
and all inclusive. So I always remind uh, Kathy and Kathy about that also, that they can book it either way through their favorite tour operators working with you in the flights. Um, we have our own 27 hole championship golf course and country club. It has a tennis club there. Our main spa is actually at that property and 27 hole championship golf course. There are a couple of other golf uh, courses in Mazatlan that we have a relationship with, but ours has 27 holes. One of my favorite restaurants is at the Granada property, which all all-inclusive guests at any of the four properties there has access to. That one's Argentinian. And then of course, an amazing sushi chef at our sushi bar, which is at the country club. And again, all guests on any of our all-inclusive plans have access there. Um, there's a picture of one of the golf courses with our uh, two uh, beachfront properties right across the street there, the Castilla Beach behind the trees and the El Moro Tower uh, standing up there on the right hand side. The last nine holes were designed by Lee Trevino. If any of your clients online are golfers and maybe a little bit more mature golfers, they would certainly recognize the famous Mexican American golfer of Lee Trevino who designed our last nine holes of our 27 holes. Our most popular property is the Castilla Beach Hotel. You can see that is uh, where all of the activities are happening. Shows happen during the evenings. Kids club and teens programs are located right in between this property and the El Moro property right next door. What you're looking at there is only half of the pool area. The other half of the pool area is on the other side of that wing leading out to the ocean. So all of our properties in Mazatlan were built a few years ago. So that's i.e. a number of years ago, but they're all constantly being updated and renovated and kept fresh. Great beaches there in Mazatlan, both for the, the, the locals that love to go to those beaches there, as well as uh, guests staying at our properties. Uh, behind these, uh, this family, you can see Bird Island, which is a bird sanctuary, and Deer Island off to the left, where we take excursions out to for some really fun uh, day on the water types of excursions. And there's the other half of that pool at the Castilla Beach, our most popular property there that has all standard rooms, either uh, pool view or ocean view rooms. So the bottom part of that picture shows the Castilla Beach there. And then we'll move right next door. You're looking at the Castilla Beach where we're actually standing on the El Moro property here. They share that same pool area. So it's another four star hotel and our tour operator partners, both Sunwing and WestJet, Kathy and Kathy could, could source packages for you. This one is pretty cool because all of the rooms are ocean view, shares that same great beach area as you can imagine, but one of the small pools at this property is adults only. So if you happen to book our adults only or our all-inclusive elite program, you would have access to the adults only pool at this property. So again, all of the rooms are ocean view, either straight on looking at the ocean or on the north or south side, looking up or down the beach area, but no rooms on the backside of this uh, tall tower building there. So all of the rooms, as I mentioned, are one bedroom suites. So they are really huge. Um, I took a bunch of agents down there last year, gave them their own one bedroom suite to, to, uh, uh, to enjoy and um, two full bathrooms in these things, plus a full kitchen. If you're on the all-inclusive plan, you don't even have to worry about that kitchen except for having your cold drinks in there, but um, 17 eating choices between the two properties. One of my other favorites is La Concha. It's out overlooking the ocean with some great views, especially sunset views open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But between the four properties in Mazatlan, 17 eating choices between the a la cartes and the snack bars, et cetera. That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's 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 some really nice flexibility for people that are even there maybe for two weeks, Kathy. 
And then our last property down there is our luxury property. This one's our Marina Beach. So it's located about a five minute free shuttle ride away from the other ones. So the shuttle is Elsid shuttle to get you to the shows in the evening, to get you to the golf course, to get you to any of the other activities. But this one's sort of a Mediterranean style, again, a quieter property. It is built around a marina. So you can see the marina on the right hand side here two large pool areas there and a much quieter beach area at this property. Our second spa was opened here um, at this property. So just uh, providing some more flexibility. And to get to our quiet beach at this uh, marina property, you take Elsid's own little tiny water taxi ride. It takes just over a minute to get back and forth to that quiet beach area there. So the beach area in front of the other two, the Castilla Beach and the El Moro, fairly busy because it's a public beach there, of course. But this one, even though it's a public beach, it's very quiet. So of course, the mandatory swim up bars at all of the properties there. And now in this picture, you can actually see the beach area in the upper right hand corner. And the white building is our clubhouse. So even when you, once you've done the 90 second water taxi ride over there. You've got staff over there to serve drinks and food. There are washrooms over there. And again, it's very quiet. So you don't even necessarily need to go back over to the property to use the washrooms or to, to get your uh, lunch or something. So the marina is also the home of Elsid's deep sea fishing fleet and sport, um, sport water fleet there for all of the water activities. So for um, sunset cruises, for going out to Deer Island for the day, uh, I always take the agents when I'm down there and guess out on a sunset cruise, which is great. But deep sea fishing, there is a sport fish in season every month of the year for catch or catch and release in Mazatlan. And then Mazatlan, just one or two things there, since some of you may not have been to Mazatlan before, it is known as the shrimp capital of the world is one of its taglines. It's known as the colonial city on the beach is its official tagline with Mexico tourism. And the whole downtown was declared a national historic landmark and it's absolutely beautiful um, 15 years ago and they've really built up and beautified the downtown area with gorgeous restaurants. Some of the best restaurants I've eaten at in the world are in downtown Mazalan, close to the cathedral area. Any of the things that you can do, water activities or land activities you can do in other Mexican sun destinations, they've got it in Mazalan also. Now, El Cid actually happens to have its own ground tour operator, which is also WestJet's ground tour operator, but it's called Prona Tours. And they offer a number of different tours. Hopefully people are relaxing and enjoying the beach activities, but hopefully they also get out and enjoy some of those amazing cultural activities to go up into the mountains, to see some of those little villages and to see how the locals live. Absolutely fascinating. I always try to do that when I'm down there and I'm down there at least once a year. So now I'm going to move over to the Riviera Maya. Of course, Cancun and the Riviera Maya is the number one destination for any Canadians traveling to Mexico. And El Cid has two family-friendly five-star properties in Puerto Morelos. So it's 20 minutes from the airport. So it's not way down south in the Riviera Maya that would take an hour and a half, two hour transfer. It is literally 20 minutes from the airport in a great little fishing village. So our first one is called the Hotel Marina El Cid. About 15 years old, but it's been fully renovated recently. You can see that huge pool area. You can see the kiddie pool off to the left hand side there. I'll show you some more pictures of the beach area because it is absolutely beautiful there. Um, and again, all renovated and updated. Of course, a mandatory swim up bar. Always have to have pictures of that in there. Um, and then the, the water area. So great for snorkeling. We've got a, a number of those uh, jetties that you see there. They've got gazebos at the end. So Kathy and Kathy, though, they are perfect for massages out there, for yoga in the mornings, for smaller destination weddings out there. So they serve a number of, of purposes. Plus they create these little bays in front of the property. So even when it's a little bit uh, rougher out in the open Caribbean there, it's calmer so that guests who want to swim in the ocean can swim right in front of the property. 
I'm not a big one on showing room categories, but I'll let you know that we have jacuzzi suites. We've got family suites that hold up to five people. We have one, two, and three bedroom suites there also. Of course, Kathy and Kathy have access to all of them and they can, they can quote you on whatever would work for your families. On the two properties, the, this and the sister property, the Ventus, um, there are five a la carte restaurants plus a buffet, plus um, our, our uh, marketplace. Uh, so there are plenty of restaurants to choose from, all socially distanced, of course, at this time. Um, and because El Cid has its own marina, all of the motorized activities, going out and doing a sailing cruise for the day, doing snorkeling, doing scuba diving, you can book that right from the El Cid properties and walk right to the marina, which is off to the south side, so it doesn't even block our beautiful beaches there. And then the things like kayaking and, um, and parasailing and sailboarding, some of the non-motorized stuff is, is included at no charge. So here's the brand new property. It's actually three years old, but it's still, still a relatively new property. It's right next to the Hotel Marina El Cid. Similar, similar categories, and there's full exchange between the two properties. No restrictions at all for any of the guests at either of the properties to go and enjoy the other one. So they're sold as separate properties, but full exchange there, and they are connected. So one of the things about the Ventus property is this one of the two infinity pools and the two associated hot tubs is again adults only. El Cid is always committed to families of all ages and making sure that they're all very comfortable with the kids clubs and the teens programs, but they always have a nice adults only area too, which is, which is nice for maybe the grandparents to enjoy or when the kids are in the kids club, the parents can go over here and not being around other people's kids. Uh, and Kathy was just saying that the, the beaches are so nice and I can attest to that. We went there last year and the beaches of that area, I, I walked, I think I was gone for a, a, over an hour and a half and I could have kept going. I turned around, I finally just turned around and came back, but <laughs> you they, got are your, <laughs> they are beautiful. You got your steps in for the day. Yeah, Good for job, sure. Kathy. Yeah. Yeah, what in addition to the a la carte restaurants, we have this uh, Mercado del Dolores, which means a marketplace of, of Dolores. And it's a great place for going in there and having Asian food, casual dining, um, uh, crepe station. It has a, a ice cream station. It has a seafood station, a Mexican station. So great for that casual dining. And as in Mazatlan, the kids club and the teens programs go till at least nine at night. Most of my competitors, their kids club and teens programs close at maybe five o'clock. Ours, both of them go till at least nine at night. So when the kids are happy and, and entertained there, of course, that keeps the parents happy. And it even allows the parents to maybe have a nice romantic dinner on their own some evenings. And then an amazing spa here, as well as the two in, in Mazatlan. So I usually treat myself to a two hour spa treatment, an hour of hydrotherapy going from the hot sauna to the hot dry sauna, and then a scalp massage, wet stone. Susie, and then by a full uh, one hour body massage after that. So sort of get spoiled a little bit when I'm down there. And then remember that the marina there, we've got the, all of the, the uh, uh, things that you would want to do out of a marina, you can book right from there. Our last little property is our little one in Cozumel. So this is our little boutique property. Cozumel is the a little island right off of um, Playa del Carmen, Mexico. So just south of the Cancun area. And we've got a little property there. It's only 60 rooms, has a great reef right out front. The guests can go snorkeling there every day. There's a sunken boat and a sunken plane in the, in the uh, uh, loop right off the property and guests can walk right down this into that uh, coral reef lagoon right there. Um, the other has a paddy dive shop on site. So for scuba divers, most scuba divers are certified or um, now we certified. Paddy certified as a scuba diver and it's great to have the dive shop right 
at your property. You go right to the dive shop, get what you need, weights, your tanks, lifeboat. But of course, it does still have a small pool on property. It does still have a tiny little beach area. And you're literally looking at the whole beach there. <laughs> because remember, most of the property has the stairs leading down into the lagoon area. And we're located right behind the new international cruise ship terminal in Cozumel. So there's that paddy dive shop. Here's the uh, little pier right on property where the dive boats come in at. So it's totally convenient for those guests who are scuba divers to do their diving every day right from on property. They don't have to schlep all their wet, heavy stuff on a transfer to some other marina and catch their, uh, their dive boat. It's all right there for them. So that's a quick overview, you guys, of the Elsid properties, the four properties in Mazalan, plus a few tips on Mazalan, uh, which is one of the shorter flights to any sun destination. I know, Kathy Scott, you've been there before and, and enjoyed it. And then our two five-star properties in the Riviera Maya and our little boutique property, great for scuba divers in, in Cozumel. Well, David, it looks great. It looks um, looks like you could have some fun down there. And I have to say, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, I, the spa treatments on the beach, oh my gosh, calling to me right now, for sure. Um, but uh, I think it was a, a great presentation. Thank you. It's, it's nice to see you've got a little bit of something for everybody different in the family. And I think it's just a, a really nice uh, range of, of properties that you've got. So thank you for taking the time to share with us. And we definitely look forward to when we can get back down and check all of the properties out. Right, Kathy? Absolutely, each and every one of them. <laughs> you betcha. I think a week at each might be you know, necessity at this point. <laughs> we have a lot of we have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get sure you that, in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure anybody listening to us to, or watching today is probably going, "Pick us, pick us, we're coming too." <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Well, thanks again, Dave. That was great to, to really get to My know pleasure. a little bit more about the properties. I know we've had some really good feedback from our guests when we've sent them our clients. So um, it's always nice to, to get a little update on what you've been doing and really nice to see that you've been taking such good care of the uh, safety aspect for, for guests. I think that'll be really something that people can feel confident in knowing if they, if they do what, if and when we can get that back to traveling, or I should say when we can go down with confidence, knowing that it, it will be well cared for there. So thanks again. So thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, we have some, an interesting guest next week as well. And that's going to be Lisa from Rocky Mountaineer Rail Tours. So something a little different, a little closer to home um, until we can get back down and see the beautiful, Mexican uh, area, we will have to stick a little closer to home. So thanks again, Dave, and we'll be signing off now. Bye-bye.